Okay, so we're just gonna go over um, a real typical motorcycle decompressor system. We are working here on this Yamaha MT-07 engine today. Um, this is a similar system you'll find on dirt bikes and street bikes, all kinds of stuff. Um, don't wanna leave out the ATVs either, some of those have this. So, how this works is on, typically on, this is your exhaust camshaft, you will have a little pin. This pin is slightly raised from the bottom of the camshaft lobe here. So when this spins, this lobe opens and closes your, your valves in your engine um, to let the exhaust gases out. So at a very low RPM, like you would have from your starter motor, when this spins and this is all in place, this pin that's slightly raised just barely opens, and this engine has two of these, there's one over here as well, just barely opens these exhaust valves and bleeds off just a little compression and that slight amount of compression just lets this thing really start to spin once the engine fires and starts by centrifugal force these weights sling out so when the weights sling out you can see the pin it moves so when it's in the slung out position now this is just below the surface here and it's no longer in play it's no longer touching the bucket as long as the engine's running, this, these weights stay slung out. As soon as you turn the engine off, the weights come back in by these little springs here and it's ready to start again. So that allows you to have a, a large displacement, high compression engine, but it can still be started by a smaller starter motor starter system. So if you ever have trouble with this, usually what'll happen is this'll stay out or, it, or the opposite, it'll be stuck in. And typically you might have some kind of issue with the springs here or some of the internal mechanisms. Some are serviceable, some aren't. Um, but that's just a basic rundown of how this system actually works and what it does, in case you wondered.